Traffic control signals are one type of lighting where we can observe the differences between incandescent and LED lighting. Among the traffic signals in this fairly ordinary intersection, both LED and incandescent lights are in use. Can you tell which is which just by looking at them? How about we look at the same scene in near-infrared using a short wavelength infrared camera? Does what we see now help in spotting some important differences? Better still, let's look at the scene in both visible light and in short wave infrared light at the same time. Which of the individual stoplights appear to be incandescent? And which do you think are more likely LEDs? Do the clues to telling which is which have anything to do with why LEDs are more energy efficient than incandescent lighting? An essential desirable function of traffic control signal lights is that they reliably produce bright light in one specific visible light color. Green, amber yellow, or red. The most efficient LEDs are made so that they produce just the one color desired for the output of the individual lamp. On the other hand, due to their nature, incandescent lights simply cannot do that. Incandescence can only work by producing a broad range of both visible and short wavelength infrared light. Lenses with color filtering must then be used to let through only the one desirable color. All the other undesirable visible colors and wavelengths have to be blocked and filtered out. The color filters do this by absorbing the other wavelengths, converting that light energy into heat energy. The other light energy is essentially wasted. It is thrown away. The short wavelength infrared that is always produced by the incandescent filaments can likewise be absorbed by the filters. Often, instead, the near-infrared light is simply allowed to pass through those filters as it heads out through the front of the traffic signal. Since the human eye can't see those infrared wavelengths, people are only aware of the filtered red, yellow, or green. When this happens, our near-infrared cameras can pick up that short wavelength infrared. The cameras see this light, produced by the incandescent lamps, after it has passed through the color filters. Wasted, unused light energy. In describing what you are noticing, which of the lights would you say are most likely to be LEDs? Are the sets of green, yellow, amber, and red lights for the left turn signal more likely to be than the sets on the right? Or, for this intersection, is it more by color? Are all the greens likely to be LEDs? What about the red lamps? Does the behavior of the yellow, amber lights indicate that they are more likely to be LEDs or incandescent? With video, we can slow down the scenes. We can repeat the playback, moving forward and back, back and forth. At another intersection, we can compare visible light images overlaid on top of the same scene in short wavelength infrared. We can fade in and out each image to make one more intense than the other. Which objects are most bright are not always the same in visible as in near IR. This is another way to compare the relative brightness of each individual traffic signal lamp. Of course, we can also look at close-ups, freeze frame, or in slow motion. A little experience in observing traffic signal lighting can be useful in helping us to better use infrared cameras 
to study the characteristics of many other types of lighting. Stoplights are of interest as they are out in the open in public spaces. And they are regularly, predictably switching on and off, one color at a time. We can observe the types and characteristics of current automobile lights in other videos.